Hello everyone, welcome to another video for GPT Synthesizer. My name is Barad and we are going to make a tic-tac-toe game today. So first thing we do is run GPT Synthesizer. We then describe the task we want. And the language that we want it implemented in. Okay, it has decided that it only needs these five components. It requires a board, a player, a validator, game logic, and a user interface. Um, do we need any more components to be added? No, I think that covers it all. So we'll press enter. And are there any components that we would want to remove? Uh, I guess not everything looks good. Uh, can I provide more details about the board? Board is responsible for keeping track of the current state of the game, including what positions are occupied. I which player. So the board should keep track of the positions on the tic-tac-toe grid and which player occupied each position. Should it also be able to determine if a player has won the game or if the game is a draw? Uh, no, because that's going to be done by the game logic. Should only keep track of the in which players occupied each position. Is there any specific data structure or format you would like the user like to use for representing the board? No. Implement the data structure that seems to be the best. Is there anything else? No. Okay, now let's uh, implement the player. What the player should do in the game. So it should manage the players of the game such as which which shape they represent and what positions on the board they occupy. Yes, that is what I mean. Uh, because it's asking me what I mean by shape, and the last part says such as X or O. Uh, yes, that is what I mean. Is there anything else the player should do in this tic-tac-toe? Um, it should also manage the moves of the players. Is there anything else? No.
Players should manage the play of the game, including the symbols and the positions. Players should handle them. Is there anything else? No. Well, at this point, it's implementing the player. All right, now we are trying to implement the validator. Could you please provide more detail about the validator? It should validate the moves each player wants to make and ensures that the move is legal. Can you provide more details on what constitutes a legal move in tic-tac-toe? The move must select a position on the board the move must select a position on the board that is not occupied otherwise that is illegal move. Is there anything else? No. Is there anything else? No. No, there. Nothing else. Okay, so now it is implementing the validator. It is responsible for implementing the logic a tick tack toe game. It should check for when there is a win or a draw. A win occurs when a player occupies three positions in a either in diagonal vertical or horizontal. A draw occurs when there are no more moves for the player to make. In other words, All the positions are occupied. Uh, yes, this is correct. No idea. No. Oh. So now we're implementing the game logic. Right. Uh, 
going now for the user interface. It should represent a tick tack co game where players can select a position for their next move. Can you clarify how the player will interact with the user interface? Will they input their moves through a command line interface or a graphical user interface or some other mode? They will interact through a graphical interface that is implemented in interface. This means the user will display the right button or some other. Yes, this is correct. Uh, now let's discuss how the user interface will handle player input. When a player wants to make a move, how will they indicate their choice on the graphical interface? Will they click on a specific position on the board, drag and drop their symbol, or use some other method? They will click on the position where they want to place on the board. Okay, and now we've implemented the main as well and the entire workspace has been created. So now let's go find the workspace. Okay, so now we've opened the code inside of Visual Studio and we want to see if we can run it. So we will locate main and there it is. And now we want to see if just by running it, it'll work. Would you look at that? Here's this piece. Nice. This piece. Okay. Now I have to make a decision here. Should I place it here or should I place it here? I don't know. We'll place it there. All right. And we'll place one here. Boom. We won. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you soon.